What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. In today's video, we are having some fun with it. We are using a team that only features Pokemon that start with the letter G. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button to stay up to date on all of my content. But before we get started here with today's team preview, I got two things to go over. The first thing is I want to give a huge shout out to the team creator, my boy, Viking VGC. Thank you so much for making this team. Huge shout out to you. This team looks tons of fun and cannot wait to use it on the rank ladder. But if you guys want to check out his social media pages, make sure you head down the link in the description below. He makes awesome retro code teams. So if you guys look for some cool teams and some very strong teams for the rank ladder, head to his pages and check them out. Other thing I want to go over is the lack of uploads on this channel. The past week I was on vacation, so you guys have seen like some scattered videos, not my daily uploads. It was like every other day I was uploading. And the week before that I was actually sick. So I kind of kind of got hit with a double banger, but I still upload as much as possible for you guys. But now that both of those are over, we're back on the daily upload grind. So videos will be flying out on this channel. Just like normal. Just like normal. But with that out the way, let's get started here with today's team preview. Starting off in that top left corner, we have the one and only Groudon. Can I have a G team without the strongest Pokemon that starts with the letter G? We got Groudon right here with Drought and the Assault Vest. He's got Precipice Blades, Stone Edge, Heavy Slam, and Fire Punch for an awesome Assault Vest moveset. Second Pokemon is going to be Galvantula. Galvantula is one of my favorite Pokemon. He's just really, really cool. And I love using him on the competitive team because he does not get that much loving. He's got Compound Eyes as his ability, and it's Rock and Choice Scarf as his item. It's got String Shot to lower speed, Thunder for stab, Screech, and then E-Web for stab and speed lowering. Middle left is going to be Garatina. Garatina is one of those restricted Pokemon that you don't get to see too much, but it's definitely very fun to use when I am using it. It's got Levitate alongside with the Grecious Orb, and it's got Shadow Force, Shadow Sneak for first turn priority, Outrage, and Protect. Fourth Pokemon is going to be the mythical Pokemon. It's going to be Genesect right here with Download and the Douse Drive to make its Techno Blast turn into a Water Move. It's got Flash Cannon for Stab, Bug Buzz for Stab, Techno Blast like I already mentioned, and then Protect for its final move. Bottom left hand corner is our support Pokemon. We got our boy Grimstrong over here. Prankster with the Focus Sash and then Spirit Break, Light Screen, Reflect, and Fake Out for flinches. Final Pokemon is going to be Storm Drain Gaston over here. And Gaston is really good at countering Kyogres because, you know, Storm Drain is its ability. And it's just super, super strong. It's got Leftovers as its item. And it's rocking Yawn, Earth Power, Ice Beam, and Protect for its moveset. Guys, if you want to try out the team for yourself, run the code is at the bottom of the screen. But let's get after it. Let's hop on that right double ladder. Let's get some wins with this G Pokemon team only team. First battle coming at you guys, and I just realized this is going to be a tough team to get a win with. So if I can get one win in today's video, I'm going to be happy. But we're going up against a pretty tough team here. He's got Shadow Rider Calyx. He has Zastian. He has uh, Speed Control with the Tornadus. Then he has Indeedee, Wimscott for support, and then Lugia as his final book. How should I play this one? How should I go into this one? This one is definitely going to be tough. I feel like Galvantula might be a solid lead, but I feel like Gar Garatina alongside with Grimstrong could also be good for us as well. I'm kind of digging that. I think I'm going to lead both of them. Bring Groudon in the back end and then final Pokemon. So let's just go Genesect. But dude, this is tough. This is going to be so tough for us. I feel like winning a match with this team is going to be so tough. What do we have? Do we have Fake Out, Screens, and Spirit Break, I think? Right? We do. We do, right? Yeah. Okay. Hmm. This is going to be tough. This is going to be super tough. I think Genesect's going to be my, my next choice here. Let's lock it in. This one's going to be tough. It's going to be a tough video. But like I said, if I can pull off one victory in today's video, I'm going to be a happy YouTuber. I'm going to be a happy YouTuber. But before this video starts, you guys know the deal. Question of the day. What are you guys' thoughts on the brand new gameplay trailer for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet? I saw it while I was on vacation and I thought it was absolutely amazing. I watched all like 14 minutes of it. And it just looked really, really good. So definitely want to see you guys' thoughts in the comment section down below. But he's going to end up going in DD alongside with Shadow Rider Collection. That kind of does me dirty. I'm not going to lie. That kind of does me dirty because I can't Shadow Sneak, and that's the reason I brought out Garatina. Which is just straight up Shadow Sneak through and hit onto the uh, Calyrex. But definitely got to set up a Light Screen here. Light Screen is going to be our lovely little friend. And then mm, we can't fake out. That sucks, man. Yo, indeed he's doing us dirty right here. And it's got the seeds. And it's got the seeds, so it's going to be tough. Special Defense Boost. Good thing we are physical attacking. Um, has no effect on that. That's so tough, man. I don't like this game. I might just Dynamax and Wormwind here. I might just Dynamax and Wormwind and then set up a Light Stream. I mean, I could straight up Outrage. 
See my Dynamax for Pokemon like Groudon? Because Groudon can do some work later in the match. I really do like Groudon a bit later in the match. With that Assault Fest, uh, yeah. We're just gonna start setting up swords. You know, I'm just gonna straight up Outrage. And then I'm just going to go into a light screen for now. That is my play. Love a little light screen. Set it up. And does he not go for follow me or does light screen come out before? Because I would have loved to shadow some, or just uh, shadow force next turn. And she can go straight for an Ash Barrage, so I kind of dig it. We should be able to eat up pretty well here. Yep, Garatina soaks pretty well. And I'm just going to drop a lovely little eye. So our rage is going to come out here. How much damage is it going to do? Can you hit the Cadillac, please? No, it goes into Indeedee. And oh, I like that. I love that. Woo! Indeedee out for the count. It's a solid kill. It's a solid KO there. Okay, so we know that Calyx is going to take out my Garatina here. Grimstar can set up a Reflect, which we obviously should be able to do because we have Prankster. It's going to be nice. So he's going to send out Zacian. Uh, hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. What can I do here? I could hard swap into maybe Ground here, which wouldn't be bad to save my Garatina. Because Garatina could be good, but we obviously have to set up a Reflect here all day. And I can't even, I can't even swap Garatina. He's stuck in Outrage. I can't even swap him. He's stuck in Outrage. But I think he just picks up the double kill. We set up the Reflect and the Light Screen. And then we go from there. So I can bring out Groudon with that Assault Vest. Dynamax him. And have my Genesect chilling here. I'm trying to think what I could do with the Genesect. Genesect's not too bad. But there's the Astro Barrage. Beamoth Blade's going to fly. Easy double kill. So he picks up double kill. Like I said, it's going to be tough for us to actually grab a win in today's video. It's going to be so tough for us. If he didn't lead that Indeedee, we could have been sitting pretty good, but I think we're fine. I think we could be fine here. So there's Behemoth Blade. Bye bye, Grimstarl. No shot, Grimstarl survives that. Not even through the re re reflect. That seems way too powerful. So Grimstarl drops out here. I'm fine with that. I don't mind it. We have our Groudon, and we have our our little dude in the back end. Our, what is it? What is he even called? The Genesect. So we got Genesect, and we have Groudon. Uh, Zassian might protect here. That seems might protect them. What do I do? I know that the Calyx is going to be focused actually. So I go for a defense boost and just Dynamax and go for that uh, Steel Spike. Because again, Zacian has to protect, right? I think we're going for Quake or he might just stay in. Could Quake and look for the big time KO. I do get an attack boost, which is nice, but aren't we special attacking? Which kind of sucks. Yeah, we're special attacking. We have Bug Buzz, <laughs> right? Yeah, we have Bug Buzz, which is special. So we are special attacking. We don't get any value out of that. Uh, this is going to be a water move, so we don't want to use that. Uh, could, could protect. I, mm, I think I just protect Genesect here. I feel like I could go for a Blades, but I, ha I have to Dynamax. Do I Quake into Zacian and finish him off, or do I read the Protect and go into the Calyx with the Steel Spike? I feel like Zacian has to protect here, right? I feel like Zacian has to protect. No, we're going for a Blades. No, we're going for like a Quake or something. I think it has to protect, so I'm just gonna go into this. We gotta make a move here. We gotta make a smart play. Or we gotta kinda make a read here. We gotta Dynamax a Calyrex. That's a surprise. That is definitely a surprise here. Huge surprise. I was not expecting that. So we Dynamax the Calyrex. It's just kind of a smart play, to be honest with you guys. And dude, uh, I gotta make a good play in order to win this game. We need the Assassin to protect. We need the Assassin to protect, but it's gonna be so tough to win, win with this team. I'm not gonna lie, it's going to be so tough to win with this team. But again, we have screens up, which isn't too bad here. I get a defense boost here. I have a Soul Best with Groudon. Um, Groudon should be pretty bulky. A little bulky Groudon action here. But Behemoth Boy still hits like a truck, so I'm kind of terrified of it. Because <laughs> you guys don't deal with that. That move's just OP. That move is just OP. But we protect our Genesect here. Hopefully, he maybe throws a shot into the Genesect slot. Hopefully, he's not doubling down into my Groudon. That could be a little upsetting. And he goes for an Overgrowth. Overgrowth, which should be easy soak for us. That did a lot more than I thought it would. Actually, he picked up. Didn't, no, he's Grimnade boosted plus one. Okay. Grimnade boosted plus one. Can you go for a Behemoth Blade into my Genesec, please? That hurts. That hurts. We just missed an opportunity to actually do a, do some damage. So he doubles down into my Drown on. Can we eat up a. Oh my god, we can't even eat that up! With the Reflect? I, I, I figured it out. I figured it out. He got a crit. He got a crit, and that's going to be GG's. That is going to be GG's. I was wondering, I was just like, why can't you eat that up? You should be able to eat up a Behemoth Blade pretty decently here, but nah, yo. This dude's getting the crit. We don't get swept in battle number one, but we, we get we get wrecked on. It's going to be tough to grab ourselves a win, but we're going to hop into our second battle and look for our first win. 
Second battle coming at you guys, and I'm feeling a victory. Feeling good. I want the victory with this team. Let's try to get it. We're going up against another tough team. Like I said, it is going to be so hard winning with this team. Going up against Zacians and Kyogres and all that good stuff. But he has Zacian, Kyogre, Celestial, Zamazeta, Groudon, and Whimsicott. I feel like Galvantula has got to be our friend here. We have to take Speed Control or just Control in general somehow. So either Galvantula or Grimstar is going to be our buddy. I feel like Galvantula is a little bit better here. Or I could go Grimstar for a nice little turn one fake out. That's not too bad. Turn one fake out's not bad at all. So I'm kind of thinking that. Not going to lie. I kind of like that. Let me see Groudon's stats. I haven't really checked them too much. He boosts an attack. A little bit. And he's bulky on the HP. I kind of like these uh, EVs into it. I do like that. So should I go Grimstar on Groudon or should I go Galvantula Groudon? Options, options, options. Options, options, options. Uh, I forgot to bring Storm Drain in here. Storm Drain's our friend. Storm Drain is definitely our friend. Actually, we are going to bring Galvantula just for the sheer fact is he has rain. And if rain gets set, then we can drop some thunders. But yeah, we're going to go Gastro and then Caratina just seems like our best bet, right? Shadow Sneak. Uh, mm, but Zastian's a problem. Or should I just go Genesec? I don't think Genesec. Genesec's not a bad Pokemon, especially with rain. Has Douse Drive. I'm all about it. I'm all about it, but let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's grab ourselves a win here in battle number two. Or at least try. Like I said, we're going to grab ourselves a win here. One of these three battles will win. Actually, one of these two now because we've lost battle number one. But I'm telling you, I'm grabbing a win with this team. It's definitely fun to use these off meta teams. Definitely a lot of fun. But without Zacian and Kyogre and going up against them, it is really, really tough to win. It's really tough to win. But he's going to end up going Samuseta. Well, let's have Scott, which I don't mind. Don't mind. Um, He's probably going to wide guard here. So in this case, I can't string shot. But I can screech. Which I might just screech this Amazetta and then just fire punch straight into the one Scott. But it kind of feels good. I feel like the Y guard has to come out here, right? The Y guard has to come out here. So no E web, we're not allowed to do that. We're just gonna screech right into you. I'm gonna drop a nice little fire punch. Nice little fire punch right into this Wimscott. Probably trigger focus ash and then go from there. But the question is, is he gonna go into Y guard next turn? He tailwinds and he does he not wide guard here? I'm gonna be upset. I'm gonna be upset if he doesn't wide guard here. He snarls. What the? <laughs> he snarls. <laughs> That's fine. That's fine. I'm cool with the snarl. Do we think he wide guards next turn? That's a real question. Do we think he wide guards next turn? He might. I could Dynamax here. What is that? Is that an eject button? He's going to eject button. Now he has Tailwind instead of... I hate this game. I don't like it one bit. I don't like this game one bit. <laughs> Why do I play it? Is he Zacian? Groudon. Ah. Hi. Right. Galvantula should still be able to out... Actually, I don't know if it does. I would love for you if you do, because I would love to get off a Screech on that thing. 149. I don't think you outspeed, little buddy. I don't think you outspeed, little buddy. I'm gonna go for Screech there, and I am going to go into. Do I go into a Steel Spike here? Or I just Quake. I feel like I just Quake and try to get rid of you. I think we have the Dynamax this Pokemon. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. So he's gonna Dynamax. I'm gonna Dynamax. It's a double Dynamax. Double Dynamax situation here. And with Zamas at a minus one, my Quake should be able to take it out. Should be able to wash on, but that eject button from that one Scott was money. It was money. It was money. Dude, it's gonna be so tough because he definitely has Zassy in the back end. I just don't I just don't know how I can take out Zassy. <laughs> like it's so tough. I just don't know how I can take out Zassy. Outspeeds everything, can pretty much pick up a KO on my Pokemon with anything. Like it's just so strong. It is just such a strong Pokemon. But double ground on get the Dynamax. The double Groudon Dynamax comes out here. And he's going to coach. Ah. We don't like that. No bueno. No bueno. No good. That's no good. Defense boost. All that. Screech comes out here. So we're dropping defense, which is beautiful. Which is beautiful. And of course, this thing's white herb. Of course it is. Of course it is. And he's just going to quake into my Galvantula and take him out. So poor little Galvantula is dead. He's dead. He's dead. He gets a special defense boost. We should be able to take out Zamazed here. Kind of go from there, but dude, this is tough. This is tough. I don't like this game. Not one bit, dude. Not one bit. Because now he's attack boosted. He's defense boosted. He's special defense boosted. 
We're doing pretty good, but dude, this team is just tough to win with. Quick flying through there. Get some damage off there. There's, there's the first KO. He has Wimscott in the back end. Probably Zassi in the back end again. Um, I kind of want rain, but I don't think he brought Kyrie to the ground on, which is kind of tough. He just strayed away from the weather. But, um, hmm. I could go for the yawn. Yawn's not too bad here. A yawn would not be bad here. I'm gonna try to yawn somebody. Wimscott comes back out here, which I'm cool with. I'm cool with the Wimscott coming back out here. I think I might just max guard this, uh. I think I might just max guard this, uh. I don't have max guard. It sucks. I'm gonna do that, and I think I'm just gonna steal Spike and get a defense boost for the team. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get rid of the Wimscott, and I'm just gonna go from there. Okay. If we get these moves off, that could be a pretty solid turn. But I wonder if Gashon can actually eat up a shot. I don't know. Plus one Dynamax Groudon. Not, not sounded too too good. Not sounded too good. If I can get off the Sean, I can definitely protect next turn. Get some leftover HP and kind of go from there. But he mementos me. You son of a biscuit. How dare you. That's my attack. I could swap out here. Great play by him. The memento. The memento play. A solo play. Quick's gonna fly here. What are you going after? Can you eat this cash though? <clears throat> that one hurts. I need that yawn. I need that yawn. Now I can't swap out. I cannot swap out. That was a great play by him. We're gonna get a defense boost. Um And then we ah, dude, I don't know how we win this game. I do not I just don't see us winning this match. He soaks up all day. Our attack is down in the dumpsters. That was a crit. I was wondering why I did so much damage. <laughs> I was wondering why I did so much damage. But now we have to bring out oh I thought we had uh Garatina Genesec. Eh. In a sec, eh. It's not looking good because. Oh, Celeste Steel comes down. Not Sassy. Give this dude props, not bringing Sassy. But he still kind of has us on the fence here. I protect Genesect. How do I play this one? I need crits. I need crits. <laughs> I get attack boost, but it does nothing. Techno Blast can come in here, but it's just water. It's not going to do a lot of damage. Uh, let me see my ground on stats. I'm just going to protect this thing. Ground, let me see your stats because you are just in the dumps, aren't you? Oh my god, that is ugly. That is ugly. Uh, I guess we'll flare here. Probably your best bet is just to flare into this. See if maybe we get a crit? I don't know. I still don't know why Groudon's not a, not a fire type. So we protect our Genesect. Let's see what he does from here. He's gonna quake into my Genesect if I had to guess, right? It's a Genesect quake all day. No, it's a great hey, double in. Don't you dare tell me you're doubling into my Groudon. My Groudon soaks. His special defense is boosted, which is ugly. And please, Celestial, go after my Genesect. Just for Flamethrower into my Genesect. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Cool, cool. Flare comes out here. How much damage are we really going to do? Flare. It's not bad. It's not bad. Their Tailwind's gone, too. Oh, that's huge that their Tailwind's gone. Hold up. Wait a minute. Beans has a shot here. Beans definitely has a shot here. Um. Hmm. 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 Could lower special defense. Both of them can lower special defense. So I'd rather go for bug buzz. I'm gonna bug buzz over this guy. And I think I just fire punch, right? I think I just straight up fire punch. This one's gonna come close, but I feel like he has it. I feel like he has it. It's gonna come close, man. We need a special defense drop right here, right now. The thing is, he's boosted on special defense, and we are down on attack. On our ground on. So there's that, doing a little bit of damage. We don't get the drop. Fire Punch flies out here, and we have speed up against this guy. So we take out Celestial. Hold up. Wait a minute. We can Techno Blast next turn. Because the uh, drought's gone. He's going to go for a Blade, yo. You guys, can you guys eat this up, please? Genesec. No. Genesec. No, I needed you. I needed you, man. All right. We're kind of relying on a crit here. We're not kind of. We are relying on a crit here. I mean, wait a minute. Heavy Slam... Uh, the more the user outweighs, we, we weigh the same, so it's not going to do a lot. Our best bet is going for a Blades and kind of hoping for a crit here. That's our best bet. We outspeed. We connect. Give me the crit for the win. Shot. Wow, what a battle. Miss this Blades. Miss it. Nope, he connects it all day. Wow, dude. So close to winning that match. My Genesec ate up a shot. We definitely wouldn't have won that one because I could just Techno Blast, did some damage, and then Blades would have been able to take out. But solid battle number two. You guys know the deal. We're hopping into that third one, and I'm guaranteeing you guys a victory.
final battle coming at you guys, and I guaranteed you guys victory. So that's exactly what we're going to be doing. And this is a perfect team for us to actually grab that victory with. This guy's rocking a off meta team with Necrozma, Zekrom, Pamuki Muk, who you never see on the rank ladder. And then he's got, uh, what is that? Colossal. Urshifu and Zygar. So Colossal and Urshifu is definitely a solid lead for him. He can go into that, proc all that good stuff, and then roll from there. So I feel like Grimmsnarl is an absolute must for us leads, just so we can fake out and kind of roll from there. So I'm going to go with that, and I might also go with Genesect as a lead. Just in case he wants to do that, I can go into a Techno Blast with that uh, Dash Drive and kind of roll out from there. It would be four times super effective, so I really do like that. So you know what? I'm going to do that. I'm going to go in with them two. I'm going to roll out from there. So those two are going to get the lead. I'm going to bring Groudon in the back end. And then I feel like Garatina is just her guy, right? Garatina is just the one, right? Yeah, let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's look to grab ourselves a win here in battle number three. Let's not look. Let's get ourselves a win here. Because like I said, we don't go 0-3 in any of our Sword Show videos. Never have, never will. So I have to grab ourselves a win here. And I promise you guys a victory. So yeah, I got a lot on the line. The pressure's on for Jeans right now. Pressure is on. But let's see how we do. Is he going to go with the uh, combo? Lil Uzi Vert is his name. That's hilarious. That is hilarious. I love that name. And I love Lil Uzi Vert. This music rocks. We're gonna end up going these two. Okay, so, uh, what is the Cross one? Is physical or special attack? I gotta fake out somebody. The Mickey Mook's kinda scaring me a little bit. I'm not gonna lie. So I might just set up. I, I might just fake out the Pamukes. And then just straight up Bug Buzz straight into this Lil Uzi Vert. That's my play. Lil Uzi, dude. <laughs> I was actually just bumping his music like an hour ago. <laughs> I love it. But Fake Out's going to roll here. I'm going to drop that. And I'm kind of scared of what the Necrozma can do. We can outspeed here, which is gorgeous. I'm just going to drop a lovely little bug buzz. And half its damage. Or a little bit more than half, which is huge. He's just going to drop a nice little flash count, which you should be able to eat up. I mean, you have focus ash anyway. That's big time eat up. So it shows that he's special attacking. I am going to pop a lovely... Oh, and it's orbed. And it is lovely little orbed. And you can make flinches and... I think we just start setting up screens here, right? Ooh, what, I feel like Reflect we get a lot more value out of. Because we're going to take out that Pokemon right now. We're just going to take out the Necrozma here. We're going to set up a Reflect. The reason I say Reflect we get a lot more value out of... Ooh, he's going to ally switch. But the reason I say Reflect we get a lot more value out of is because he has Urshfu, Zygarde, and... What was his last Pokemon? And he had another physical attacker on his team. That I would think he would have in the back end. So we set up a Reflect. We go for a bug buzz and it's gonna chip up a little bit of damage. Give me a special defense drop. I do not get it. He's gonna pain split me. How dare you? Pain split me. That's fine. I don't mind that. I do not mind that. That can actually leave me to actually set up a late screen. But I don't know if it's worth it. Colossal's physical attack too. So is Zekrom. I don't think it's worth it. Maybe we just go after these Pokemon. Maybe we just hit this Pamuki Muke and then we drop a bug buzz straight in the slot. I'm all about it. I'm all about it. So maybe he'll ally switch again. He does not. And we just bug buzz. We should have picked up a KO. I'm liking this battle. I think Jeans might grab herself a win here. We might grab ourselves a lovely little win here. So we get rid of him. And the Spirit Break is going to fly. Yay. Bop. Do a little bit of damage. But this Pokemon's rather bulky, isn't it? This Pamuki Mew rather bulky. With a berry, too. A little citrus berry action. I dig it. I'm all about it. I'm all about it. He's going to go for a recover. And yeah, this thing is bulky. He, he came to play. Came to play. This dude came to play. This dude came to play. But yeah, if you guys haven't realized, this is actually a casual ladder match. I do not know why, but I could not find a ranked match. I do not know why. I tried seven times, I think it was. Seven times, just kept trying to find it, and I'm kind of in a rush a little bit. But still, hopefully you guys do enjoy the content. Really, just go a long way. It really just go a long way. But he's going to end up throwing out Zekrom. And we already have Reflect out. I think I just Spirit Break. I think I just start double down into that thing, right? Huh. I'm not too worried about the Pamuki Pamu. like, What's it going to do? It's just been Pain Splitting kind of chilling there. Helping Hand. That's cool. I'm surprised he didn't Dynamax there. But he Helping Hands it. And he does not outspeed us. He might outspeed my Grim Snarl. But hopefully we get that Special Defense Shot. That could be big time for us. We do not get it. We can't get it. I don't know why. The Helping Hand Rock Slide is going to do some work. Actually, not as much work as I thought. Grim Snarl is going to be able to get off Spirit Break, and this, this match seems pretty good for us. This match seems pretty good for us. Oh, the Reflect definitely helped us out. Beautiful Reflect, dude. Love me some Reflect. I'm just going to drop this on this slot, and a Bug Buzz finish off his Zekrom, and I think he just died in Max's his next Pokemon, right? I think he might just die in Max that next Pokemon. So we're going to be able to get rid of the Zekrom, no problem, unless he died in Max. Which I don't think he has the Moxie to die in Max. It probably would be his best play. 
if he Dynamaxes the Zekron, but I don't think he is, right? If he does, he is going to be able to eat up a Bug Buzz and then get off a shot. But we shall see. He does not. Cool. Bug Buzz says, see you later. You gone. Get him out of here. And then this Pamuka Muka over here is just chilling, being a bulky, annoying little bulky Pokemon. But what's he going to do? Is he going to paint split me? Like, I saw three of its moves so far. Actually, no, I only seen two. Yes, soak. Okay. I think he was going for an electric move there. He was going for an electric move. I'm cool. I'm cool with this. It's an easy battle. He's going to throw his final Pokemon, which is going to be the Zygarde, which, again, he's probably going to Dynamax. At this point, I'm just going to... I'm just going to... Ah, Spirit Break's not super effective. Wait, why is the Spirit Break super effective? Oh, it is. I hit a different move. I hit Fake Out. I hit Fake Out. I was wondering why. And let's go for a nice little Techno Blast. I feel like I'm just going to start trying to lower this but you can make special defense here. But yeah, he does not Dynamax Zygarde. A little weird. A little weird. Not going to lie. Bug Buzz flies here. Can we get the special defense drop? Like, please? Thank you. We do not get in. Thousand Arrows is going to come through. He's going to pick up a KO. Maybe two. No, just one. Thank you, Reflect. Reflect helping us out tremendously. <coughs> Sorry, guys. Had to, had a quick cough there. Might have another one in, in this battle, but uh, I think we just finish off this battle with Groudon coming out here, right? So if I Groudon, doesn't really matter. He has special attacks on the field. I feel like we just Dynamax AGG, right? I should have brought a Garatina, because Garatina outspeeds Zagra. We could just roll that, but this guy is not Dynamaxing. I do not know why. Do not know why, so I'm just going to Dynamax from here. I'm going to get rid of the Pimuki Muk, and I'm going to double down on the Pimuki Muk. I think this thing's so bulky that we have to double down into it. So Dynamax comes out from the ground on this match seems pretty easy for us. It seems like it's no problem at all, but I can't believe our last battle came super, super close. That one was definitely really close. Came down to my uh, Genesect not being able to eat up the blades, which is understandable considering his Groudon was plus one. But Groudon, I choose you to Dynamax. Finish his battle for us. Hopefully he's not Dynamaxing. He does not. I don't understand that. I don't understand why people. some people just don't Dynamax. You need to. If you don't and uh, opposing opponent Dynamaxes, you're, you're, you're like in a hole already. You were going to lose. But he helping hands his eye guard. He's going to take out my Genesect probably with a thousand arrows. We're going to take out the Pamuk Pamuk. And it's no problem. It's going to be no problem. We get a special defense boost even though he's physical attacking. But this match is light work. It's light work, ladies and gents. Inner and outs. What does that do? I, I do Pamuk Pamuk. I do not even know that ability. So when you die, you just kind of deal damage to me. Breaking Swipe comes through. That's actually a great move. That's a smart move to do. Critical hit on my ground. That's a smart move to do. Get that attack drop and take out my Genesect at the same time. Props this guy. Props this guy. But I bring out Garatina. Garatina outspeeds. I'm just going to start dropping outrages. We're going to get after it. I'm going to quake this thing. And I feel like Outrage might just take it out, right? If he doesn't Dynamax, Outrage should just be able to just rip right into it. Should be GG's, no problem. Because we should be able to outspeed it. Just roll from there. And there it is. That's what I was waiting for. His Dynamax. Not gonna lie, this matchup might be really close. <coughs> this match is gonna be really close, actually. I feel like, right? Is we half its health and then power constructs? Definitely ops here. But Quick's gonna go first. Yes, sir. We're going to deal a little bit of damage. Not too much here. Nothing is bulky. Yeah. It is bulky. How much damage is Outrage going to do? Probably bring it down to yellow. I would say like mid-yellow. Not anything crazy. Let's see. Yeah, about mid-yellow. And then he's just going to warm in. So he's going after. Garatina, can you eat this? You can. Okay, so that should be GG. I was going to say, if Garatina dies there, we pretty much lose. Pretty much lose. <laughs> I don't know why I'm coughing so much right now. Just third and final battle. I feel like I have something stuck in my throat, man. It's doing me dirty. It's doing me dirty. But he power constructs here. I feel like we're fine. I feel like an outrage and a uh, and a quake just finishes this battle off, right? Correct. Sounds pretty good. But yeah, if that wormwood killed us, we probably would have lost this battle. He guards. What a smart little cookie. Smart little cookie there. 
Ooh, I think he's waiting for my confusion. Ooh, wait a minute. Hold up. Wait a minute. Do not get confused. Have another outrage, anybody. Cool. Okay, so we have another outrage in us. I'm all about it. Smart guard by him. I'll give it to him all day. He's smart guard there. Smart, smart guard. We just blades. We're going to go for another outrage here. Thank God we didn't confuse yourself. That could have been rough. That could have been real rough. He lands a double guard. No shot. I'm going to be confused. I Yo, stop it. Chill on me. I'm going to be confused. Am I not confused? Can't outrage confuse? Or am I thinking of a different move? Can't outrage confuse? He just wastes his dynamax turns. These are rampages attack. I think it's just because what's it called? Oh, well, I guess we didn't get confused. I don't know why. Well, it's five through here. I'm all about it. That should be GG's. I don't know why we didn't get confused. Somebody let me know in the comment section down below. But Outrage flies here. That is GG. There it is, guys. The victory for you guys. We go one or two for today's video. My dude, Viking VGC, thank you so much for leaving this team a G team only or Pokemon that only start with the letter G. Absolutely loved it. And I just thought it was fun to use all around. Definitely tough to get wins on the rank ladder. But again, a nice fun off meta team to get a little bit of diversity in the rank ladder at the moment. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread positive today. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.